Welcome to another edition of the It's Cavalier Podcast. It's your boy, Mac. And today, you know what? I'm just going to keep it real with you. I like to hop into these podcasts with some some sort of script. I like to know what I'm going to say before I come in here. But I'm flabbergasted right now. I am conflicted. I don't know how to feel. Because entering free agency, I'm like, okay, there are a, there are a number of particular players that I would like to see in white and gold. A lot of particular players that I would like to see the Cavaliers go after and What happened? Nobody, nada, zip, no players have been brought in. I'm sure that they have been on the phone. They've been contacting different free agents, but we haven't seen shit. We haven't signed shit, and the roster remains the same. There are a number of guys. I will reiterate. There are a number of guys that I would have loved to see Don and Wine and Gold, but they've been taken off the board. Maybe we'll see somebody. Maybe they'll pull something in day three but based upon these last two days i'm not feeling very very confident that the roster is going to be all that different now with that being said with the kobe altman presser and the kobe altman and kenny atkinson presser taking place today the introductory conference i was left feeling a lot better because kenny there's a direction right there's a particular direction that he appears to want to go in. And that sounds like he is going to want the core four to stick around for at least one more season. Now, those of you who know me, those of you who know, who have listened to me talk at all, know that the idea of the core four coming back under an Atkinson led offense, that absolutely intrigues me. To those of you who disagree that the core four can work or that, you know, they, they need to be split up. I'm not going to fight you. I don't, that is your opinion you are entitled to that i'm just trying to make the best of a situation that 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 looks like it's what's what it's going to be this year it 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 is starting to look a lot more like we are going to see the core four here this year so i just people got to make do with that if that is that is the case and based upon what we heard from kenny atkinson today i couldn't help but feel much better about the way that he plans on potentially using evan mobley about the pace being expedited and playing a lot quicker about getting threes up about the player development aspect of it all because i i i have always believed that this offseason was probably going to be more so about getting a couple of moves on the margins that's why i had a list of guys set out in free agency that i wanted to acquire that could potentially help on the margins it was going to be more about that than a big swing because i never honestly felt like they were going to end up moving off of one of these pieces of the core four whether it be jared allen whether it be darius garland or anything else honestly you just never really know. But listening to Kenny Atkins today, I felt a hell of a lot better about the prospects of a core four return, right? I do believe in a motion-based offense that Kenny Atkinson is going to get a hell of a lot more out of these guys than J.B. Bickerstaff ever did, starting with Darius Garland and Evan Mobley, extending down to players like Max Struess and Sam Merrill, who are excellent shooters off of screens and off the catch and shoot. There's a lot there to like, and Kenny Atkinson didn't obviously give a, a, a lot of weight today, but it wasn't the usual JB, you know, dancing around question. It was some real talk, some real coach basketball talk, and I loved it. Everything sounded genuine. It sounded like they, they had the blessing of Donovan Mitchell. Obviously, we knew that he wouldn't be hired in the first place if Donovan did not give his blessing. But I have to believe that this is a hire that Donovan Mitchell is fully on board with. And based upon Kenny Atkinson and uh, Kobe Altman's comments at today's presser, I feel like Donovan's extension is looming. It's coming. It's going to happen. And I am very much a speaking into existence type of person. You guys know that. So I'm going to continue to speak it into existence. Donovan Mitchell is going to sign on the dotted line. We will, re- we will see him return to Cleveland. That's the first step. And perhaps that is why we haven't seen any real moves being made or really any moves at all. Like, man, it ain't shit happened yet as of recording this. Things can change, but these are my initial takeaways. These are my initial thoughts from the first couple of days of free agency. Sucks ass that we are not able to bring in players like Jalen Smith or Kelly Oubre or Dario Sarge just yet or any. You know, Cam Johnson, any name you want to throw out there. Trenton Watford. I had a whole list of players that I would have loved to see in Cleveland that has signed for either more than Cleveland has to offer or just just picked a different location. 
maybe that speaks to Cleveland not really being a true free agent destination, or maybe that just speaks to Cleveland's belief in the current roster that it has. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that I'm going to enter this season with an open mind if the core four does return. And I urge you guys to do the same. Opinions can change. Thoughts can change heading into the season depending upon what this roster ends up looking like because it is a long fucking offseason. There's a lot of things that can happen over the course of the next few months. We still have summer league. We still have offseason training camps. We still have preseason. We got a lot of things to go through. So there could still be a trade on, on, on down the line, but if you're expecting one of the core four to be moved, it's probably not going to happen. So you, you're just going to have to make do with what we have as of right now. That is Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen in that court. And if that is who we have, I am starting to feel more and more confident about what this team could potentially be under Kenny Atkinson. That being said, I'm going to let y'all go. That Those are my initial takeaways. Uh, I'm feeling better. I was, I was really feeling down in the dumps after the first couple of days of free agency. But the Kenny Altman... Uh, Kenny Altman, Jesus, Jesus. The Kenny Atkinson and Kobe Altman presser made me feel a hell of a lot better. Go Cavs.